ラート。Hello guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. And if you're watching this, is because you want to know how to beat the crap super fast. Yes, I, me and my friend, we did within less than 10 minutes by myself. I did like maybe 15 or below, but I yeah, we did that because. And first, before we do this, if you don't have this item, it might take longer than expected. But if you do have it, well, it's 10 minutes or less. That's a guarantee, depending on what Delphi you're using as well. If you don't have a Delphi, you, you know, fighting style. As long as you have a range skill or you know something that can it just hit the wall and still like have a bit of AOE, that's like fine. As long as you have that. So first, I'm going to tell you where to hit. There's a method to do this. So first thing you need, I'm just going to tell you the requirement. Um, you need like a fighting style, you know, as long as any skill. Second, always have you need a Kraken core or a Sea Serpent core. If you have both of it, that's great. You can finish in less than 10 minutes. That's a guarantee. If you have Sea Serpent core. Maybe like 12, 10 minutes exact, or maybe a bit more, depending on your damage as well. So it depends on what you have. So you're gonna spawn around there. I'm just gonna give you all the direction in case you guys, you know, you know, get mistaken and actually go the wrong way. So I'm just gonna tell you all from the start to where. So of course you guys know you spawn there, you see the building. Once you come out of there, you come all the way there. You know, you just see the building. Come all the way back here. Once you're facing this way, you'll see a big gap. All you gotta do is just keep following here. You know, I'm just gonna spawn my bird real quick. Come here, birdie. Okay, come on. Okay, so he's gonna ride him, and yeah, he's gonna go straight. Very easy. But if you have here magma, get this bird. It's like freaking fast in a boat. Honestly, it's close to like a hoverboard speed or faster. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty useful because you know you don't summon any ship that is pretty much following you. So yeah, that that's that's pretty useful. That that's all I want to say, guys. Okay, yeah. So now I guess um. We're almost there. Okay, come on, birdie. Okay, yep. Once you're here, you'll see the cave, and I'm just gonna exit him, despawn him, and despawn. Okay, come on, dude. Can you despawn? Despawn. Is he? Why is he so tired? Okay, give me a sec. I'm just feed him. Let's see what I'm gonna feed him. I feed him some weird-looking carrot. There we go. Okay. So once you get here, let's just say. So if you're a two sword style user, one I says. Who don't have gap or your fishman card a user who don't have any type of maneuver you can climb up here that's a no problem and now the hard part comes is to get up here because if you can't get up here you basically can't do this method like not the slightest so you know what first climb up here and then <coughs> give me a second so this is what my friend did basically so i'm just gonna show y'all using my magma so i'm just gonna climb i don't have much climb so i'm gonna climb up here like this and then just wait once you're about here hold this hold the skill you want okay just face it anywhere it doesn't matter remember put your hand on the con control key and then just wait for the thing to re like reload release and you go back up so you got a holy skill that will let you actually you know stay up and then you want to keep doing that non-stop so if another skill go cool down just get another skill keep using it let it reload let it get there okay i gotta keep my hand in the control as well oh i dropped a bit but yeah uh it's possible it's just that i suck at doing this i don't really climb that much i didn't keep my hand in the control there so i kind of fall off but yeah once you do this you just got to get on top and you know once you get up here uh and you've done that basically you want to get up here and then keep going it's pretty simple just keep going just keep going and then don't forget don't fall off okay so just go here almost here if you're a delphi user and you don't have hea or you know magma or something like that um do this before you actually just start oh okay so now you just gotta fall here uh yeah if you don't have a gapo don't forget hit the wall so spawn your boat here like a galleon at least a galleon because this is what's gonna happen so the crab will basically spawn here we just killed it so i can't really you know show you all the crab is gonna spawn here all you gotta do is hit this you know hit your magma your whatever bullet wait has it spawned yet wait it is spawn already wait let me just on the volume it's just that i keep getting your raped is it oh no no no, no that, that was just a normal one but yeah basically i'm just gonna off that did it spawn there's no way it just spawned right like it doesn't matter 
Okay, so you want to spawn like a galleon or whatever. I I sold my galleon by accident. I need to go back to first and buy it. I don't know if they have it here, but whatever. Spawn it here because sometimes the boss will spawn a small crab. And somehow, magically, they get out of the wall. So when they do, like, you know, you're so focused on fighting. You're like, you know, holding a move. And then they just hit you, like, hit you and you can actually just fall back. So just in case, put the galleon there. So if you fall back, you go back. Or you can stay on your galleon, jump up and attack from there. And also, since you're doing this, don't forget, use your core. So, the reason why it's fast is because you have your CBs and your Kraken doing damage, plus you hitting the crap as well, which means you're doing a lot of damage. Plus, since the like the crap has like um, damage reduction and he heals when he's below half, um, your CBs or your Kraken basically helps you with that. They do more damage together with you. So, that's why you need one of the cores. At least, if you have that, that's a guarantee below 10 minutes to 12 minutes around there. Me and my friend did it. Both of us did it. We did it like at least below 8 or 5 minutes. We literally finished it between then. He had Kraken and CBs. I only had CBs core. And then but he had Gold Ride and Magma. So it was like, you know, easy clap like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful to any of you who wants to beat the crap. Good luck beating the crap. Um, a subscribe would be actually very great because I'll be making more content on this game. And maybe blocks for it. I don't know. But if you guys do have Robux, don't forget to name me just 5 Robux. Link in the description. Thank you. And don't forget to hit that ring-a-ding bell. For notifications see you guys in the next video and sayonara